Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Disha and I'm here to help you transform your house into a home. So this video is the third episode of the lockdown series. You guys loved the previous two episodes. So I thought let's continue. So today I'm going to share some easy DIYs that can be done using simple stuff, stuff that is easily available in most of the households. So like uh, acrylic paint, newspapers and brushes. So yes, I'm talking about paper mache. In today's video, I'm going to share paper mache clay recipe and using that clay, I'm going to make some stuff, some beautiful stuff. So let's start. For paper mache clay, you will need newspaper or notebook papers or tissue paper, then tear it into pieces or you can use scissors soak these paper pieces in a bowl of water make sure that the paper pieces are submerged completely let the paper soak overnight here i am using tissue papers If you wish you can use mixer grinder to grind these paper pieces into paper pulp. You'll need a paper pulp like this. Now I'll be showing you two methods to make paper mache clay. First with putty and the second without putty. For first method I'm using two cups of paper pulp and one cup of putty or joint compound which is used to seal the joint of two drywalls. Now I am adding half cup white glue. Wear the gloves and start kneading. Knead until it's nice and smooth. Mix corn flour or corn starch or you can use all-purpose flour also which is maida. Mix it properly and just check whether the clay is nice and smooth or not. If it's not then add some more glue and flour and knead it again. Once it is nice and smooth, just store it in a poly bag or zip bag and keep it in an airtight container. You can store it for 2-5 to five days. Now for second method I am using tissue paper and no putty is needed in this method.
for mask i am using clay with putty so i took small amount and uh, rolled and pressed it between my palms and then started giving it shape like a face You can also use small amount of water to smoothen the surface. Use various tools like compass or pencil to give shape. And here is how it looks. I just kept it outside in sun to dry. And once it was dried, I primed it using white acrylic color. Then using acrylic paint, I painted it. Now let's do some hair transplant. So for that I took three strands of macrame and tied it in the middle and then just glued it on the head of this mask like so. If you don't have glue gun don't worry you can use white glue as well. And then on the back, I glued magnet. Now this looks nice and here comes the interesting part. When the man of the house is in charge of the kitchen, then the mask looks like this. And when the lady of the house is in charge of the kitchen, then it looks like this. Isn't it interesting? And I keep changing its hairstyle too. Take any pot or utensils of your choice and then apply lotion, Vaseline or oil on its surface. Take small amount of clay and start spreading it on the surface. You can use water to smoothen the clay. Keep it out in sun, it will leave the sides of the pot which means it's ready and now it's time to paint it.
once painting was done i just sprayed it with acrylic varnish for all these other diys you can check out my hindi channel i have added the link in the description box So I really hope this video inspires you to stay positive and creative in these trying times. And uh, yes, many of you have been sharing with me all the recreations, and uh, I share them on my Instagram. So if you too try these DIYs, paintings, or home decor, then please share with me on my Instagram. This is my Instagram ID, and this is my Facebook ID. So. I would love to share them with our creative community. That's all for today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, watch either this video or this. Bye bye. Wish you all love, luck, and sunshine.